On October 23, 2023, Hyundai Rotem, a subsidiary of Hyundai Motor Group, unveiled plans for the K3, the world's first hydrogen-powered battle tank. Developed in collaboration with the Agency for Defense Development and the Korea Research Institute for Defense Technology Planning and Advancement, the K3 aims to enhance the operational capabilities of the Republic of Korea while aligning with global energy sustainability objectives. The K3 tank is set to replace traditional diesel engines with hydrogen fuel cells, offering a quieter, stealthier alternative to current models like the K2. The integration of hydrogen technology not only reduces harmful emissions but also enhances the vehicle's stealth capabilities, providing a strategic edge in modern warfare. With advanced electric motors and rechargeable batteries, the K3 represents a significant technological breakthrough for military applications in South Korea. The anticipated design of the K3 brings multiple operational advantages, such as improved maneuverability over challenging terrains and steep inclines. In addition to hydrogen fuel cells, the tank will feature a formidable 130mm smoothbore gun, an upgrade from the K2's 120mm gun, increasing its firepower. Hyundai Rotem plans to incorporate artificial intelligence AI, into the K3's fire control system, aiming to boost targeting precision and overall effectiveness in combat scenarios. Production of the fully hydrogen-powered K3 tank is projected for 2040. To bridge the gap, Hyundai Rotem will first roll out a hybrid model that combines diesel and hydrogen systems. This transitional phase will allow the South Korean army to capitalize on some advantages of hydrogen technology while preparing for a complete transition to the sustainable energy source. Officials confirm that the hybrid version will be operational soon, supporting the country's strategic objectives while minimizing emissions. The development of the K3 tank aligns with a broader global trend towards hydrogen fuel applications in both defense and transportation sectors. Hyundai has a history of pioneering fuel cell technology and is now extending its expertise to military vehicles. For instance, the company has collaborated with WeRide in China on hydrogen-powered autonomous vehicles. Additionally, in the United States, advancements in hydrogen technology are influencing military maritime transport exemplified by the upcoming launch of Sea Change, the first hydrogen-powered ferry approved by the U.S. Coast Guard. A hydrogen fuel cell operates by converting hydrogen and oxygen into electricity, water, and heat through an electrochemical reaction. It comprises three main components, an anode, a cathode, and an electrolyte. Hydrogen is injected into the anode, where it splits into protons and electrons. The protons pass through the electrolyte to the cathode while electrons generate usable electric current through an external circuit. At the cathode, oxygen combines with protons and electrons to form water, producing only clean byproducts. This technology is ideal for military applications requiring low acoustic and thermal signatures, enhancing stealth operations. In conflicts like the ongoing situation in Ukraine, a hydrogen-powered tank could offer significant strategic advantages, particularly regarding stealth and operational autonomy. Its low thermal signature makes it harder to detect by infrared surveillance systems, facilitating discrete maneuvers and night operations. Moreover, increased autonomy allows for deeper penetration into enemy territory without the frequent need for refueling, an invaluable capability in areas with complex logistical challenges. The environmental resilience of hydrogen tanks further enhances their operational effectiveness. Producing only water vapor, these vehicles can navigate degraded or contaminated environments often seen in urban warfare. By reducing reliance on fossil fuels, hydrogen tanks alleviate logistical burdens, safeguarding supply lines vulnerable to attacks. Finally, the silent operation afforded by hydrogen technology provides a crucial advantage for ambushes or defensive strategies in varied terrains. While South Korea leads the charge with its K3 project, other countries are exploring hydrogen for military applications, though they generally lag behind. In the United States, initiatives like the Next Generation Combat Vehicle NGCV program are evaluating hydrogen technology, with General Motors Defense developing the hydrogen-powered ZH-2 prototype for the Army. Meanwhile, BAE Systems and Oshkosh Defense are also exploring hybrid and hydrogen solutions. In Europe, the MGCS, Main Ground Combat System program, led by Krauss Maffei Wegman and Nexter, is considering hydrogen options for future tanks. Similarly, Japan, through Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, is investigating hydrogen fuel cells for armored vehicles in response to defense requirements for increased autonomy and reduced carbon footprints. Israeli defense companies, including Elbit Systems and Israel Aerospace Industries, 
are also researching hydrogen technology for stealth applications, although formal programs have yet to emerge. The global landscape for hydrogen-powered military vehicles is evolving, with South Korea's K-3 tank setting a precedent for other nations to follow. Hyundai Rotom's pioneering work could inspire companies like BAE Systems, General Motors Defense, CamW, Nexter, and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries to accelerate their own hydrogen programs, exploring the vast potential of this technology for military environments. As the world moves towards more sustainable energy solutions, the K-3 tank stands at the forefront of a new era in defense technology, combining environmental responsibility with enhanced military effectiveness.